What are you doing up this early, Dominic? I need to run a few errands before work. Just want to get an early start is all. Well, I'm glad I made enough coffee for the both of us. It's obvious you're still tired. I'm, I'm feeling better than usual. I think today's going to be pretty productive. I'm glad to hear that. You actually slept last night. I was happy. Yeah, it wasn't one of my bad nights. All right, I'm taking off. See you tomorrow. Dominic? Do not forget about tonight. Vivian, you know how hard this is. Yeah, it's hard for me to But Felix would have wanted it, and I want it. See you tonight. I'm 
Dominic Francis, I have an appointment with... Of course, Mr. Francis. Please, follow me. never easy to make arrangements for a funeral. There's just so much to deal with. Mr. Francis, did you get lost already? Oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help but overhear them talking about funeral arrangements. Am I in the right place? You certainly are. Don't worry, Mr. Francis. You're in good hands here. One of our senior members is going to personally handle your case. You can ask him anything you'd like. It's important to us that you're made to feel special. Special. Exactly. Right this way. Wow. This is some room. Isn't it? He'll be with you in just a moment, Mr. Francis. Dominic, I presume? It's a pleasure to meet you. Right on time, thank you. Likewise, thank you for seeing me. It's what we do. I was uh, a bit surprised to see the place looking so homey and domesticated. We get that a lot. We figure we might as well keep it a very friendly setting. We do most of the procedures here and have found that in a place like this, the clients respond to it much better than a huge corporate building. Yeah, it's very friendly. The piano's a nice touch. Yes. So let's get down to it, shall we? Yes, please. Um, what do I call you? I I'm sorry, this is all just very new to me. Of course it is. For technical reasons, we actually don't go by our legal names at Memoria Inc. It's a slight formality, but we are labeled as Recall, and then a certain number that corresponds to how long we've been here. You can call me Recall 14. 14? You must have been here a while. Since we began seven years ago. So, Dominic, I read in your file you've chosen the memory you would like to relive. I know I read everything thoroughly, but, you know. How real is the memory? I'll put it this way. Do you have any recall of a dream so real that when you woke up, you had a difficult time separating that dream from reality? Yes. The Memoria procedure creates an experience that is 10,000 times more powerful. And when you were reading through our brochure, I'm sure you also read through our disclaimer. It's important that you understand the risks and that you only do this for a truly important memory. Well, I assume that most people who go through this procedure have some damn important memory they want to relive. Of course, the more intense the memory they experience, the more risks are involved too. Okay, let's get on with it. Ready when you are. It was about six months ago. The end of the summer before Felix started school. We spent all summer teaching him how to ride. He finally figured out he could do it by himself. 
that I knew right then, that instant, that if I died just one minute later, that I would have lived a complete life. Just for the smile he gave me, whenever I turned around to watch him go. How did he pass? How do you know he passed away? It's mathematical, Dominic. 98% of our clients choose the procedure to reclaim and live through a memory of a loved one who passed, often unexpectedly. Makes sense if you think about it. I guess it does. So that means I'll be able to see Felix again, right? The Memoria procedure places the patient in that memory for up to an hour. We are literally extracting that memory that's deep in your subconscious and projecting it, so to speak, so that you can step into it and live it. After an hour, it shuts off. It shuts off? Well, Dominic, the whole process is extremely overwhelming to your body. Think of it almost as a root canal of the brain. I know that might sound daunting, but it is 100% effective. Of course, there are the risks you read about in the disclaimer. How many people come out of this unscathed? How many people come out of it not brain dead? How many people never come out of it? In our latest seasonal operations, we've had a 7% chance of full recovery from the procedure. 7%. Yes, but I can assure you that we are growing vastly to improve that statistic and ensure that... Am I missing something, Dominic? 7%? You know that's just fine. I doubt I'll have the will to live after the procedure anyway. Yeah. 7%? Fine. Are you certain? Well, think about it. You just literally live one of the best intense moments with somebody you lost and then wake up for it to never happen again. Would you want to go on living after that? I can only imagine. Maybe like one last hurrah, isn't it? Amen. So let's do it. How does your wife feel about this? My wife. exactly told her. Dominic, I can't tell you what to do about this situation, but what I can tell you is this. I've seen other lives shattered at the result of the patients not telling their loved ones they were undergoing the Memoria procedure. Our trademark red code notifications can be very unsettling to people who aren't prepared to receive them. Oh, yeah. The letters. Memoria Inc. takes great pride in providing surviving relatives with notification of what happened. Regrettably, our red code letter has become known as the Grim Reaper, I'm afraid to admit. But believe me, Dominic, no one wants to receive that letter, especially if it's unexpected. She'll be against me doing this. I know it. Of course she will. Look, I'm not a salesman, you know that. Every patient that comes to us does so of their own free will. What I am saying is, you genuinely seem like a good guy. But you share the loss of your son with Vivian. Now, how do you think she'll feel if she loses both of you? Look, she's stronger than I am. All right, he died a week after that memory. And since then, I've tried talking Moy out of this a million times and I simply can't. Vivian will come to understand that I had to do this. It's ultimately your decision, Dominic, but please speak to her about it. What's the next step?
Describe the memory in as much detail as possible. Everything you can remember. The smells. The weather. The people around you. What you were wearing. I'm talking everything. It helps with the extraction. Anything else? Leave the rest to us. We will be in touch soon. Vivian and I talked late into the night. We reminisced about Felix. Her stories and memories of him are so vivid. Throughout our discussion, I, I kept going back and forth on when would be the right time to let her know what I was planning to do. But then I saw her break down when talking about a time when Felix offered to help her make a meal for me when I was coming home late from work. She never cries in front of me. She told me about his smile. The same smile I wanted Bamori Ink to recapture for me. And then suddenly it hit me. Vivian has been grieving as much as I have. But she's not being a wreck and putting her life at risk. She's kept Felix's memory alive on her own. She is stronger than I am. I've been so focused on my own grief that I've forgotten how much I love her, how happy she makes me. I will never tell her how close I came to doing something so selfish. It would just break her heart and she's been through enough already. Have you read the paper today? No. Wow, they really have you working late, huh? Oh, yeah. Change in management. It has been pretty hectic. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I had to go. That's okay, Viv. You know, I finally feel like I got a second chance at everything. A uh, second chance? Yeah, this year was hell for me. For us. But you really saw me through it. God, I think it's the end of summer again already. Uh, Dominic, we don't need to talk about it, sweetheart. But we do. We both got through it. You know, they say after a year, things usually have a way of getting back to normal. You can never forget, but you can move on. I never really understood that until now. <sighs> Dominic. If only it was that easy for everybody. Just remember, some people hide their grief much better than others. Well, should I wait up for you? Probably not, love. You shouldn't wait up.
this love without pain this sky without rain joy without sin this burn without wings this peace without me this tree with no breeze struggle with no fight this This king with no crown, this truth with no doubt, there's nowhere left to stand. He's neither a wolf nor Without me, I wouldn't have to shout. Without me, I wouldn't pray out loud. Without me.